Alright YouTube, so this is going to be a very different video. I really don't even know how I'm going to title it, but if some of you guys in the Bethesda kind of Fallout community know who Chris Avalone is, he's worked on, he, he used to work for Interplay and he worked for, he used to work for Obsidian, and these days I'm not actually sure he's working for, but he's worked on stuff like Fallout 2, Fallout New Vegas, Pillars of Eternity, which is a pretty recent Obsidian game, but he's also worked on Prey, so he's kind of been back and forth over the years between stuff like uh, Obsidian and Bethesda. Well, very recently, actually less than a day ago, it's not even 24 hours old yet, he updated his personal Facebook, which is kind of weird that he has one. He updated with a very interesting picture. Now look, I'm not normally one to make videos about small shit like this, but this is very fucking interesting. It's a hand-drawn thing, he has a few of them on his profile. It's a hand-drawn picture of some stick figure hugging Vault Boy, and it says, I missed you so much. Now, what the fuck could this be? Now, I'll be completely honest with you guys, before I started recording the video initially, like, I was under the impression that he still worked with Obsidian, which is why I had so much hype going into the video, uh, but it's still a good thing. I mean, this dude is kind of a veteran when it comes to the Fallout series. He's worked on, uh, obviously Fallout 2, he worked on Fallout New Vegas, worked on, like, some Fallout New Vegas DLC, he also worked on Wasteland 2, which is, like, a couple years old at this point, but it's like a, wasn't that, I think it was like a spiritual successor to the Fallout series, like the Wasteland series or something like that. I'll be honest, I don't know much about the guy, but I don't think he's like uh, somebody like a troll online. He's not, I don't think he would just do this just to fuck with the fans. Because a lot of people, if you read the comments on the post, on like the profile picture, a lot of people are excited, man. And he never once like commented saying, guys, it's just a drawing. It was just for fun. Like, it seems very intentional that he would go through the effort of drawing this picture. Not a complicated picture to draw, but drew the picture and then set it as his profile picture. Like, what is he working on with Bethesda for the Fallout series? It's got to be something. Now, the article where I found this information from will be linked below. They speculate that it could be, of course, he's working on a new Fallout. That's, like, the big one, of course. They also speculate that maybe he's he's working on, like, another Fallout comic, which apparently he did during, like, New Vegas or something. Didn't know about that. And then, of course, he could just be making something kind of cool or small for Creation Club. All those, of course, are possibilities. There's no way to really know what the point of this picture is. I don't want to get too in-depth or make the video too long with speculation and shit like that. It is just a fucking picture that he said as his profile picture. But I feel like it's got to have some sort of meaning for him to draw a, a character hugging Vault Boy after all these years. I mean, he hasn't worked with the Fallout series since, like, you know, 2010 to 2011. Because New Vegas came out in 2010, and then, of course, he worked on some of the DLC. So that rolls over into 2011. So, like, six to seven years, he hasn't really fucked with the Fallout series. But he's worked with Bethesda recently because he's worked on Prey. I don't know exactly what he did uh, for Prey, but he worked on that game that released this year. So we know that he, he's in good with Bethesda. So for him to come and help work on the Fallout series, that would make a lot of sense. And say he is doing something with the Fallout series with Bethesda. Like, this dude is a former employee of Obsidian Entertainment and Interplay. Like, this guy is as as oh, as good as it could get, really, if you want somebody to help you work on the Fallout series. He's worked on Fallout 2 and Fallout New Vegas. Like, old school Fallout and then what is considered, like, the best modern Fallout out of all, you know, the, the three open world ones. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts below on this. Do you think it means something? Do you think he's helping maybe Bethesda with something Fallout related? Is it Creation Club, Fallout Shelter, a brand new Fallout perhaps? Or do you think it means nothing at all? Maybe the guy's just feeling nostalgic and just wanted to draw a picture of Vault Boy. That could very well be it. I'll have the article linked below if you care to read it. It's like two paragraphs. It's, I already summarized what it said. But the article does link to his personal Facebook, which is kind of weird again that he has. If you want to try to either add him or follow him on Facebook for whatever reason, that's a thing. You could do that. Anyways, the video is longer than it needs to be, but nobody else is talking about this. Like, it's almost 24 hours old. There's no other videos talking about it. There's the one article I came across where I learned about this from. So I figured I'd make a video about it, try to be the first to discuss the subject, and put our simple hats on. Hopefully it's a new Fallout. Anyways, if you went on to enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the Dash and David. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys. Till it comes to conclusions All the things that we thought we were losing I'm a ghost and you know this That's why we broke up in the first place Cause I'm on